Ray Bostick. I worship his shadow. Hi, guys. We are nice. I'm Ray. I'm Gerard. I'm Michael. Guys, we are here today on the strange circumstances. Because normally we don't do this. Very strange. What we did today to find out what we're going to watch today. It took a whole army. It was quite unique. Capitalism. To his greatest feats. Capitalism <laughs> at, at, at his top yeah. form. All right? Well, what I mean by that is we, that. We were money-hungry Mongols. Well, <laughs> we we created a wheel. We had we had a, we have a lot of ideas of what to what, what we're going to watch today, <laughs> but we wanted the people to have a voice and what we're going to choose and watch today. We're not doing Babylon Five, which because, is uh, We we had to take a little more break on that for other reasons. We'll explain that much later on. But we are going to watch uh, a sh TV show. I don't think it came out. Well, I guess it was ninety seven. Ninety seven, yeah. right? Ninety seven. This is called Lex. Now we've been told for a long time to watch Lex, to watch Lex, mm -hmm. to watch Lex. So what we did was we ended up having a giant spin wheel, and we put a bunch of suggestions in those, mm -hmm. and we spun them. And then we gave the opportunity to people who are watching along with us to respin to re for $5. Uh, it went mad. It was crazy what happened. And a lot of good choices popped up. But at the end of the day, we ended up watching, was suggested was watching Lex, which I've never seen. You've never seen. Never seen it. Mm -hmm. You've never seen. Nope. People are asking us if we're sober to watch this. So... I'm actually interested in what the heck is going to happen with Lex. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you are going to watch along with us, I hope you uh, enjoy episode one. I don't don't know how we know, uh, how further I'm going to go with this, but we are definitely going to check out episode one right now as we speak. Um, but I don't know anything about this. I, I, background on this. Uh, I actually was going to watch this a while back ago. I told you guys. I think I, uh, I mentioned it when we had yeah. the live thing. Um, there's a YouTuber from like 14 years ago who, who referred to it as the best sci-fi show ever. Really? And then, and also, but the title of Weird is going along very much till too as well. So it's going, it's going being called the best show ever, but it's also being called the weirdest sci-fi show ever. So okay, I'm actually really interested. I, I knew it was on Amazon Prime. I just didn't want to. It was an hour 30 minutes, and I was like, I'm not going to watch that. Well, <laughs> but now I'm like, okay, I'll react to it. Well, no. it's funny because uh, uh, I feel that way about Farscape. Farscape is completely weird. It's just a weird stuff, but it's excellent. I mean, I'm loving everything about it. Yeah. But it is weird. It might so be. A, it I'm might hoping be. this falls in the same category. But according to our 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 fans, you either love Lex or you hate Lex. So mm, interesting. Uh, let's see where we fall. Yeah. In this yeah. category. Yeah, I'm actually pretty. I have nothing with like I don't know anything about Lex. What is it about? What I, type of world it is? Neither do I. So uh, I'm ready to go into this. I'm glad we didn't watch the trailer. Nothing. We're just going to go wish, into and see what. I happened. wish I knew where it was made though. Was it made here? Or was it made in the the UK? Uh, Lex, you don't say. It may be Canadian. Oh, it might, might be Canadian. You want to double, double check? Yeah, that I do. I do want to kind of double check that. From because all the suggestions that we were getting were the, almost from like British, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, British, <laughs> British, uh, uh, they have a stronghold on a lot of uh, sci-fi shows. Uh, uh, headlock, uh, sci-fi shows. A lot of a lot of sci-fi stuff. Mm. This looks a German show, a wacky German Canadian show, huh? Import for people who find Babylon Five too cerebral. So, okay, sorry, so I'm, I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading Rotten Tomatoes here. Cerebral for people who like Babylon Five. Oh, tomato. Okay, so tomatoes rated forty three percent. Popcorn meter though rates at uh, ninety four percent. Yeah, but the, the, uh, always go with the fans. The fans know what they're talking about yeah. for the most part. And the, uh, tomatoes was only seven reviews, while there's more than fifty on the popcorn review. Okay, well there you go. There you have it. So anyway, I'm excited about this. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. This is Lex Season One, Episode One from nineteen ninety seven. This is called Worship His Shadow. I, I worship his shadow. I worship your shadow. Ugh. I don't the line. I worship your <laughs> shadow. Here we go. Me and Ray. Oh, Showtime? This is on Showtime? No. Is this a Showtime show? That, ask him one more time, Ray, because I don't think... No, because I have Showtime. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Showtime? Showtime? Shut up. Oh. This is why people don't like you, bro. Michael nah. McManus. Nah. Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael McManus. Nah. Nah. Barry Bostick. Nah. I worship his shadow. But how would that happen? It could be dead. Okay. Let's fast. Oh, a ship. I thought that was a door. Oh, never mind. That's a logo. <laughs> I thought that was a door. It's a plane. <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> Oh, 
Are those like like, like, like bees? Like dragonflies? Like no, I was about to say, yeah, more like dragonflies. These like Vikings. Oh. That's dope. If that's part of the fence. Uh, oh. Oh. That is a crazy weapon. Dude, that's a crazy ass weapon. Yeah, it's messing up the earth. If that's the earth. If it is earth. That's. I mean, at this point, I think it's dead. Yeah, billions of people have died. He didn't even destroy it. You would think that he would destroy that ship with that. No, he dead. I think Julian has that same knife. The time prophet's vision appears to be flawed. Oh, Jesus Ooh. Christ. That, that one is smooth, boy. Yeah, but and deep too. With no resistance in that. <laughs> Knew exactly what it's taking. It's like butter. You think the soul too? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, his memories? That's crazy. That instinct almost took your ass out. Mm. Wow. Okay. 2008 years later. Was golly. Like, was it like a self destruct button on those things or something? Look at the patches on Earth. <laughs> Cluster Capital League, 20,000 planets. I don't know if that's Earth, Papa. I don't think it's Earth either. This was like the. That was a whole different planet. <sighs> this was like the planet for. Um, Imagine you um, have to wake up to that every morning. <laughs> Dude. You will receive seven demerits. You already have nine hundred ninety-one. Damn. I don't think he cares about the other seven then. At this point. That is scary. Imagine waking up to that. Seriously. Oh my god, what is the world of the people from the Spice World? Oh my god. What's in the uh, Arrakis? Arrakis, there you go. Arrakis World, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kinda I'm liking this a lot right now. I'm liking it too. I'm I'm definitely being sucked into it. Yeah. I like the weird stuff. I like the weirdness of it. Yeah, it, it is quite weird. Um, that's what is crazy. This? is this a punishment? Is this the punishment? Yeah, he, that's horrible. Number 11, freeze dried again. <laughs> again. Again? Nothing means anything to me. Handsome. Stop. All right, I don't like this guy. I hope he dies. <laughs> did you see Aquaman right to the left of her? No. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> So this is a prison. What they're going to now is a prison. Yeah. Looks like it. They got freeze dried. Again. 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 You know, it doesn't have to be that painful though once you're once you're there though. Probably painful as it's happening. But once you're there, you're like, eh. But maybe the frosting sucks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, as it's happening. <laughs> you're like getting feeling back on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Something's like not right because it's been frozen too many times, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, It'd be something like random stuff. It ain't right. Yeah, it ain't right. It's like the skin on your elbow. Every time you like crook your elbow, it hurts real bad. Something I, random. I wonder why they chose to do... Yeah, this definitely looks like um, the Tarkin. What is it called? Oh my God. What is it called? In Jesus, how do I know this move? Sendeia. Spice World. Oh, the, uh, Arrakis. Arrakis. This definitely looks like the world. Look, look at where they're at. You see how like the, the big arena? Yeah, no, I, I I agree. Gerard, have you seen that? I haven't seen I the sequel so, yet. No. I haven't oh. seen the sequel yet. The second oh. part. Have to watch Sorry, then you probably don't know anything. But I want to watch it because I want to. I, I think we should react to the Dune TV show that's coming out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I apologize. <laughs> I, I kind of spoiled some things. But that's all right. Stanley Tweedle. And may 
his merciful shadow fall upon you. Yeah, I don't like the way that he talks. I don't like I don't like him. I don't know who's this guy standing there. I think that's a, a robot. robot. No time for sedatives? Oh, yeah, oh, damn. So is this the guy we saw 2008 years Yo, ago? Yo, this is fire, by the way. <laughs> it is. You know I like the gory, freaky stuff like this. This nah, is awesome. It's definitely up your alley. It's definitely up my alley right now. I like how gory it is. So is that the guy from, that we saw 2008 years ago? I don't know. That's the guy who was like... I have no clue, Bobby. My boy's direct like Doctor Doom. <laughs> this is pretty dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like unexpectedly dark. Yeah. What the hell is, is that? Is that the scoopest brain? That brain should not come out that perfect with that instrument he just used. Whatever he just used, that should be a mess. Uh, he needs his brain. All right, what the hell? What's that Marvel character? Um, I know exactly who you're talking about. Um, Mr. Um, uh, you, you fight him in the, in the Marvel, uh, thing in the, uh, in the game. Uh, I know who you're talking about. He is, he has a globe on top of his head, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot. Dude, but, this, this show is like, this, this is a grandeur. It has, it's big. Like the world is built. It's like, it's like huge. Three. That's why y'all come with me. Risk being separated from your wisdom and guidance, as you will join me on my voice. That's what I said. All right, you guys are all going. Yep. Every single one of them. So there's twenty thousand aligned planets with these guys, right? They're gonna blow up everybody else but them. That the goal. After his shadow leaves the cluster. They will be destroyed at the hands of the Bunanji. Mm -hmm. So need, that's right. the cluster now. Yeah. It's him, Stanley Tweedle. Stanley Tweedle. Oh. Ooh. Jesus. Yikes. Can that happen to a better guy? Life terminated. However, his merciful shadow will allow many of your vital organs to live on as components used in the making of robotic drones. Golly. That's crazy. That's a punishment and a half. That served his shadow. Purposes that served his shadow. Might as well call him the Emperor at this point. This might be the first... Bruh. This might be the first sci-fi world that I see that I don't want to be part of in any way. What? Yikes. And that just... For the organs. Yep. Oh. And that just carves out the organ. That's crazy. Oh. Oh my god. You want steak? I'm gonna move for steak, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, wow. This was on TV? Like, this was, Yo. this was on TV at some point. That's crazy. Yo. Man, there's some soiling green stuff right here, bro. That's, that's fresh, though. You know what I mean? Like, pasteurized. Yeah, that's. That's as natural as you Dude, can get. Look, how many people have they killed? Dude. Look at this factory. They're just oh, feeding and horrifying. Earth. That's a world eater right there. What? Oh, dude, this is awesome. I'm calling it. That's, an, that's a world eater. Dude, this is like, I'm, I'm really highly impressed with the show right now. <laughs> Same. I, this is the last thing I thought this show was about. But you didn't even do anything. It's just a mix-up. Life's a mix-up. 
Dang. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're all they're all in prison <laughs> together. So the last t- last thing I'll be smiling at. Mercy for this is awesome. I'm sucked into the world so far. Jesus. Oh. What the hell, bro? What the heck is that? I don't want to live. They probably just mess her mind them and just put it like that. Oh my god, this is awesome. Look at this. Thing is, this is so already so systematic. Like how how would the Brennan G stop this? It's is he considered the people that went extinct? Of twenty six counts of piracy of influencing the minds of the neighbors. That bug thing in the nose? I'm gonna incorporate that in the next Shadowrun game we play. <laughs> <laughs> oh dope. No, it was. You know, for being as dark as they are, they're quite efficient with what they do. It's almost flawless. Bug bomb head. I think he bought this bug bomb thing at Timu. This <laughs> <laughs> is why it's for acting like that. Target signal relocated. Function. Again? All right, bro. If this thing malfunctions one more time, bro. Every planet, you are hereby a sentence to be devoured by cluster lizards. Such sentence. Oh my God, poor little girl. <laughs> ah, boy, a poor kid. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, get them all. I hope they all get. Yeah, they all get killed. For being so sadistic. Oh, they're gonna give her a make a makeover. I don't know. If they're gonna give her a makeover, but they definitely like like erase her mind, right? What is that? They won't give her a BBL. Dr. Miami. Oh, there you go. Yep. Hey. <laughs> My boy. Logan, planets? The author will be pair. Guilty. I think I know why there's only four episodes. Because a lot. <laughs> a lot's going on. Don't think so. Jesus Christ, this is an animal. Let's do it. That's how easy they could have got undone.
Oh, that's disgusting. Is she gonna become half bug? Gwen Stefani. <laughs> I'm just a girl in the world. So create a crime. So they give you a BBL for free. And try to escape afterwards. Dr. Miami. Sure, sure why not? So is that head going to follow her forever? General, you have disturbed my meditation. When it is completed, I will deal with you and also Jesus. with this minor matter. I would never bother him. I would never call him. The world could be on fire. I would never call him. That's right. We'll just make it look like it's on fire uh, like, for like benefit of him. I'd be like, I called, but no one picked up. <laughs> you know? Dear Lord, like, there's no place that's safe. Surrender at once. Oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. That's so sexy. <laughs> oh my God. How did you do that? I don't know. Maybe I've got some cluster lizard in me. I could get. <clears throat> Can you really? She's my woman. I'm telling you, man. Are they all women? Oh, I was like long <laughs> hair. Uh, that's a dude. Good boys. I don't know if I care for his his design. Oh. May his shadow fall upon. Yeah. Like his design compared to everybody else's, like it's crazy. Everybody just, else looks like deep and dark and you know foreboding. He's like it's like out of a comic book. Yeah, like, like a comic funny. release. Like something funny. Yeah. I worship this divine shadow. Shoot. That's crazy. This is disturbing some of these scenes, you know, like golly. What? Okay, what the heck? Oh, the malfunctioning is still malfunctioning? No, remember they wanted him to get up there without um Oh yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. He did say that. To the special project area. We can't go up there, that's a special projects area. You know who I think that guy is? You ever seen, um, I showed you and I showed you the, the, the first movie of Battlestar Galactica? Yeah. Remember when she first shows up and it's a guy in the station? Mm -hmm. Isn't that the guy that was in the station? Oh, the guy that ends up, yeah. Yeah, he has a making out with her. The ambassador to, that waits for them. Yeah, and he makes out with her and then they, they yeah. blow up. Yeah, and then they blow up. I, I got you. Know. I think that's that guy. It blows up. <laughs> like, there's no choice. It's, it's like whatever you go into, it's like whatever happens, happens. Seven ninety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not fair. Give what? me, give me a shirt that I could put on and why expose. Damn, bro, my, his titties are out, my boy. <laughs> you saw that? I mean, can you imagine? Yo, you look that, yo, can I get you that? Would you wear that if no, I got to No, I would definitely not wear that. <laughs> Can you imagine? They died, so I could have the key to the Lex. She's schmitten with him. <laughs> you can't stop looking at him. 
She wants him back. Must be that shirt. Oh, fire! That the guy who sings uh, "And Friday, I'm in love." He's just giving his power over to him. If we can fight him, that's dope. That's crazy, but it's dope. Beauty such as yours must live on. <laughs> yeah, I love '90s shows. Yeah, '90s or something else, you know. Yep. Smack her in the butt. Smack her in the butt. Come on. Just about. Don't leave me. You got the robot. <laughs> he can. Dude, they're gonna kill you. It's gonna be an E now, everybody. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Stan. Well, now they can't kill him. It's just a flesh wound. Oh, I, wait a minute. Weren't these destroyed? I don't think that's appropriate to touch. I like the music. I like the ship design because it reminds me of those old cartoons from the 80s, 80s and 70s where you have a bug for a ship. I mean, that's dope. I love, I love that. Why are you still fighting it? <laughs> like, <Not really. laughs> what danger is to this I'm body? This you, it was like uh, uh, Monty Python's uh, <laughs> uh, 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 quest for the Holy Grail. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> it's still fighting. She's wearing a skin suit. She's wearing a skin suit. Still got his ass. <laughs> I've got a ketchup stain. And he was handicapped. Get it handy. Sure, we call it disabled, sir. <laughs> I didn't want to be rude, you know. The man lost his hand, his arm, his head, and still won the fight. No, not your hand. That's gonna kill you. Get the other guy. Girl, you're gonna die. Ah, this thing worked for her. Stanley? Huh? Come here. Fine. Come here. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. Mommy says up. <laughs> <laughs> uppy, uppy. <laughs> the frontier. Yes. Take us away from here. Take us out past the frontier. Take us someplace better. As you come in, Devon Chow. So, is the show of these three guys? Because I could have sworn this guy was going to be a star. Is that what he wanted? I don't know. I'm so confused. So he wanted them to go to the special party place. I don't know what this is what he meant. Is that a big dragonfly? <laughs> it's a building. Or another ship. That's a ship. You mean the one I flew by? No, that one. This thing is huge. This is the one. This is that, uh, the Lex. Like yeah, but I'm saying it's like a big fire A big flight. bug, yeah. This seems like a real bug that might have been bioengineered. 
Because remember they said that uh, they defeated yeah, the bug people? Or the, yeah, the bugs. Well, the fact that they have that technology, you could be absolutely correct. I'm going to say, though, they seem to escape pretty easily for taking, like, the major ship like this. This giant weapon. Failed you, but I will not fail you again. So he didn't want them to take the ship? I guess, I guess not. I'm so confused. I say, Nick, for you. So he gives up. He doesn't want to be a host no more now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, bro. I think you'll be more in pain than oh just my that. God. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a good chance I, have, I need a drink after this show. To contemplate everything that I just saw. For the exit code anymore. To pass the frontier, an exit code is required 100% of the time. Exit code, please. If you pass the frontier without. Can I just blow this guy up? Lex, would you please destroy frontier post 657? Yeah. I was in the same way, just blow it up. Oh boy, that's quite scary though. God damn. Bunch of innocent people in there, and nothing to do with what just happened. They end Seriously. up dying. Seriously. <laughs> Dude, ew, <laughs> leave him alone. Him ah! <laughs> he's not kissing dude, you, dude. Dude, but like, he's not even good at it. She's, she's smiling. <laughs> no, she's gonna teach him. Oh, oh, she's growling. What the? That's the oh, bug in her. That's the bug in her. What the? What the? Oh my god. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I forgot they had all the brains in that ship. All those past, um... Shadows. Divine, divine shadows. So these insects are just having a free buffet. Brain buffet. I wonder if they can even attack this ship. Like, this ship might be still be too strong. Watch, he's gonna end up somehow getting his memories back with one of the brains, the brain that killed him. Probably, yeah, they probably will do that. Well, they know that this guy's in a mad terror. <laughs> Takes a bite at it like an apple. <laughs> <laughs> of the Brunan G. So he snaps out of it. <laughs> the prophecy is upon us! <laughs> so what does he get? Does he get like their memories or their powers or? I don't know. I'll do all of them though. They just have fun with it. In the beginning, I was writing him off as a as a as a, a background character. Divine shadows. 
shadow. It's like Darth Vader there, bro. I'm not really. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, he's been decarbonized, right? They said that's why he's not dying. Yeah, because he doesn't have any livable organs. Foolish woman. Don't hurt me, Divine Shadow. <laughs> I like how, like, the American Eagle. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, literally, like the weirdest thing. Is he gonna get the shadow now? You know, if you ever wonder what happened to the shadows in Babylon Five, they came over here. Yep. That's me for real. Freaky. They're in the other part of space, remember? From the beginning? Yeah. There's two there's two places. Yeah, it it, it lives amongst Yeah, it lives, it lives amongst. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Almost positive. So this is the good part of life then? Cause that was dark as hell that whole world. Facts. He's gone. No, don't you steal Stanley's girl. <laughs> That's Stanley's girl. No, not Stanley. The other guy. The robot? No, the other guy who uh, was in his underwear. Ah, oh, no. You got to kill him, bro. That's your girl. <laughs> Can't let that happen, bro. The robot might kill him. I love that bug ship. I got a feeling this. Yeah, you messed up, homie. Guy, think that law has changed. Yep. Slice and dice. Welcome to the dark zone. The dark zone? We're in the dark zone? I thought you guys came from the dark zone. Facts. What's worse than with the uh, lives that you guys were living? My, what's worse? Die. Trying to make him sell him to an enemy or something? Or some type of... Like can't, Messiah or something. He can't steal your girl no more. Yeah, he's frozen. Frozen. Ha ha. Now you have only one. One to choose from. And it's standing. Dude, that other girl got flung so far away. I didn't think she's she still alive. I bet you. you think so? I, I bet you money. Yeah, she 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 didn't. Die. They found her. They reanimated her somehow. Mm -hmm. As she commands, God. Well, I like that the ship doesn't need anybody to make it. You know, to make it work. In other words, it's that one guy. Mm -hmm. it's just like no one's flying in, it's whatever, you know. Oh, just, just like if it was Bob on the yeah, with that whole crew. Frito Sessions, I will avenge you. Will you? I guess you will. Wow, what okay. the hell did we just watch? Weird but dark, oh, but enjoyable. Stop, 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 stop. Enjoyable. Uh, enjoyable. 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 Exactly. Enjoyable. Dear Lord, what? New word of the day. Let me. Uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. That Dark. was awesome. I liked it a lot. There was a lot, though. There's a lot to unpack with this show because it's super dark. Yeah. Yep. It's a super dark show. Thank God for Stanley and some of the other characters that had some type of joking liberty. Because I think that Thorfinn dude. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it was kind of cheesy, I think, like their comedy. Like throwing, I feel like it was just throwing everything and see what it sticks. But I also think it needed it because it was so dark that we, you needed you, anything that was something of like smiling one. I was like, okay, like, like yeah. a, a relief. 
because everything was so bad. It was True. like, Jesus Christ. I loved it. No, I loved it, too. I thought it was excellent. I thought that was absolutely excellent. I have no idea what's going on, but I, I loved it. I got it. I got it. I mean, I, mean I, I, I understand what's going on. But to say the word that the show is weird is an understatement. Yeah. That it, it's beyond weird. <laughs> like, Which I, I love. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I seem, I've been watching Farscape, and to me, that's weird. Farscape is child's play compared to what I just saw here. This is awesome. This is crazy. This is so creative. That's what I'm going to tell you. This is very creative. What I like, it's like a super creative show. Which is another reason why I like was the only reason why I like Farscape because even though they're weird and they're, they're weird in their own sense, it's very unique. It's it's well written. It's creative. Yeah, as, and it, it's something you won't see today. No, like, no. You, it, like, like I like I like how there's like it's almost like they just like they took a pantry of all the possible creative topics that you could possibly all put all the ingredients and we're like put it one pot. Mm. Like even the even the costumes were like, why are you wearing a yeah, different a betwinkled you know sash? Well, the guy Thorin, yeah, yeah. Thorin, I, when he kept that, when he popped out, I was like, eh, I wish he would have changed. I mentioned it earlier, I wish he would have had a better outfit or, or, or something. But when he came out, I was like, he reminded me of um, some type of barbarian. Yeah, you oh, know? I loved it. And then his friend with the nipples. I loved it. Following him everywhere he I went. I loved you know? it. <laughs> oh, I loved it too. I'm telling you, I loved it too. But I do like, I love how creative it is. You know, and at no point that I ever thought I knew where they're going with it. Nope. Yeah. Like the whole thing was such a ride, and I didn't know where we were going. Nope. You know, there were turns, there were twists, there were loops. And then there was like moments that, like, what? What just happened? And then, as the story was progressing, you kind of understand. Okay, I think you kind of understood where 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 they were going was yeah, uh, the pattern that it was starting. The to pattern create. that was happening. We, we kind of knew they were going to escape. I didn't know they were going to take Lex, but we kind of knew they were going to escape. And I we kind of knew that the guy who support the prophecy, the the bro, 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 uh, the Bre- Bre- Brenningy, Brennan Brenningy yeah. or Brenningy, you kind of knew with, with the prophecy and all that. Yeah, okay, well he's going to make it, but. He's not the same dude. Yeah. Nope. He's, he's, he's not the Brennan G that they were mentioning. He's something different now. He's technically dead. He's technically dead. Well, yeah, I loved it. that he's dead. I loved it. Um, the robot, which I thought was great. We needed the robot. Because, again, going back to levity because of how dark it was. And I'm I'm more intrigued about Stanley. Like, what's his past? Why, why do everybody know this guy? Like, there's got to be more to it than what we than what we understand. Of course, you know, that the planets that blew up, whatever that he that he well, sacrificed. But from, there's definitely more to it. From what I gathered, is the fact that I don't know they end up using, I guess, some type of his knowledge or his DNA or something like that to be able to provide like the army. Yeah, to find. The, but I wonder if it has to do with like his teeth had the map. Yeah. Or coordinates. Maybe the rest of his body had the coordinates yeah. too. Yeah. But um, I that I don't intriguing. I don't think this show. Would do well if it came out now. Yeah, if it was remastered, right? nah. Not even remastered. I'm saying if it came out now the way it is, I don't know if our audience today would appreciate this. Yeah, I know. You know what do you think? Um, you guys do because I, listen, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some credit, and I think I've showed you guys enough to appreciate things like this. But if you were hanging out with your friends and whatnot who are similar to your age and whatnot, no, they were not. They wouldn't no, care for this. They were not. No. They wouldn't. Give, they wouldn't give a damn about this. And definitely, no one younger than that either. Mm-mm. You know. But it's definitely there's something here. I, I I don't think that this was all mixed together like we were saying. I'm gonna go and like whatever happens happens. Like there's definitely direction here. There's something going on here, right? The, I I I see like the, I see the beginning of what could be well something great. What was the movie? What the movie that we ended up just watching? Um, remote that oh uh, made Battle Beyond the Stars. What's about to be on the stars? Yeah. Okay. So that one was like, there was no direction for that one. There was a lot of things thrown out, and then they were just trying to rush and jump into the that bandwagon of you know Star Wars and everything like that. Meanwhile, with this one, while there was a lot of stuff, there was at least like order. There was direction to follow. So there was a story to uh, a story to a story to be able to keep uh, keep up with everything that's happening with this show. Um, it's glory. It's dark as heck, weird, beyond weird, but it's fun to watch. But I think that's what gets you. 
The fact exactly. that it's, it's weird, it's dark, it's intru- like it, it, it's things that you could, that are coming out of left field. It's I want to say the word random, but I don't feel like that's the right word. That's true. It's, it's hard to say. It's it's random, but contained. Like a like a ah like I, I can't say it. I don't know. And I find it interesting that they use this one as the first episode. So much happened here. You know, and, in and, one episode, and, and there were yeah. there were times where I found myself hard to follow what was happening. You know, like, and then eventually, like, you you were able to catch up and like, oh, okay, okay, I get it now. And I wonder, like, how many people saw this the first time around? Like, yeah, I'm not. This, this is not for me. You know, like again, what, what I was mentioning in the, in, the, in the in the chat earlier, you, I can see people who will love it and who hate it and who hate it. I can see yeah. us being in the crowd that loves it. You know? you know, we're just creepy and weird. We, we are creepy and weird. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but it's definitely not. It's definitely not Babylon Five. Nope. Nah. You know, it's not that at all. Uh, I, there's a lot of use of magic here, like a lot of use of magic. Yeah. Right. So maybe people who are maybe in the Star Wars fans can probably appreciate this because as much as Star Wars is sci-fi, but it really is magic. It's, it's mm-hmm. almost it's fantasy. And I think this also falls in, the, in almost this. This should fall in fantasy too, in a way, because it's not just sci-fi. There's there's some there's some, sci- there's some fantasy elements to this, and with, like with with uh, prediction, not for this, with prophecies and magic and transferring souls and you know that, that that stuff. But I also think that this is taking stuff from some of the darker writings of sci-fi. You know where. You you are just a piece of meat, yeah. You know, and you can be used for recycling. You can be used for food. You it, it, you just like there's no respect or for humanity. Oh, for humanity in that sense, and it's not even their humanity. It's and like I like every that. other race. And I like that. You know, so it puts in the part where it's really horrifying to live here, but you have to live here. You have to survive here yeah. somehow. You have to make the best out of it. You have to make the best yeah. as best you can. But even then, how the hell? Like you could, we could be minding our business, and some guy just blew up our planet. Yep. Because he didn't give him the patch code. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, wow, that's, that's that's rough. That's a lot. And at the same time, the show is looking to be a grand scale sci-fi epic. Yeah. Right. Uh, also, you can tell. Also, sci-fi. Very opera. much so, because there's so much. There is so much backstory that needs to be filled in here. Yes. Yes. Like, I'm like, what the hell is happening? I, I know there's other races because there was that guy on the conveyor belt that was blue, and I was like, hmm, I'm going to put a mental note for that. So there has to be other races involved in here. So I'm positive there's going to be a grandeur of, like, world building for the next few, or maybe in the a, next episode. Hopefully, man, with the next few episodes, that kind of we kind of understand the world a lot more because that's where I'm kind of. That's the only part where I'm confused, but I should be confused because again, it's only first episode. Like, it's the know, first episode. You should be just intrigued enough to know want to know want to watch another. Yeah, one. exactly. Yeah. I but that's, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm thinking that because there's so much going on that and I can see why people would turn off to it too. Yep. Like, what the hell is this? What's going on? Why? What? Like you asking know? like. And then you see a guy running around with his nipples out. <laughs> that might be like, eh. Yeah, questioning. What's going questioning on here? You know? <laughs> but yeah, I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I'll give it a I'm thumbs up. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up, good. and I think in the future we're gonna have to finish watching the rest of the show at some point. I agree. You know, I think that this is definitely we're gonna have to put the list for sure. And I, I'm glad that this was on the wheel that we chose. We got to watch it. Yeah, after $130, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it but, took a whole army for us to watch this. Yeah, this is crazy. But I, uh, but is every episode, every season, no. an hour and a half? No, episode? no, 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 no. So only the first four episodes, and then it becomes regular. Like, So season one it's four, is a four giant movies, movie. technically. It's four movies. It's four movies, technically. Then the, the season two through four are like regular standard. Like a half like an hour, like, an hour long video. The one that, I, okay. That's what I read on. I, I didn't okay. read too much into like how long they're going to be, but I know they're going to be shorter than this. All right. So, so there's technically so, four movies. So at some point, they're going to have to like clean up a bunch of stuff because like you said and like you said they threw a lot of stuff on here yeah in the first episode so at some point they're gonna have to like limit and control i think if there's four craziness. if there's four seasons they're gonna be a lot yeah i feel like maybe season one like you guys ended up saying is pretty much just that world building aspect well what about is this show did this show get canceled is it if all four seasons the, the complete thing i don't know no i don't know because, that. I, yeah because i know 
back in the nineties, a lot of shows were canceled. I mean, Firefly was one of those shows that got canceled right off the bat, you know. And I wonder if this is something where you end up, you know, well, we saw everything, but it, it didn't finish. It finished, but it didn't finish. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but nonetheless, it was interesting. Well, guys, listen, if you like what we're doing, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, guys. You know, thank you for joining us and watching this with us. Uh, when you saw this show, did you like it? Did you not like it? Were you confused? Did, were you all about it? Like, again, we were all about it. So please leave your comment in the comments section. We want to know what your thoughts were, what, uh, what your feelings were towards this show. Uh, should we continue it? Should uh, Let us know. Should we, should we continue watching this show? Uh, should we just give it the one episode and just be done with it? Um, and if we do, again, it'll be something way after Babylon 5. You know, we got, we'll got we follow the schedule of what we're doing. But this was a treat. This was an unexpected treat. I really did enjoy it. I know you did. I, I know, know I, you yeah. did as well. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing more suggestions for my, for my fans. I'll tell you, they, they never seem to steer us wrong. Until we saw uh, uh, Battle Beyond the Star. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, uh, I would watch <laughs> The Postman again. I would watch, uh, what was the other one? Uh, you Water know what? I wouldn't watch again. Which one? Superman. Oh, Superman. <laughs> Superman one. Don't watch that. One of you guys, listen, uh, we, this episode will be available on our Patreon for a little as $3 a month. You will be able to get it unedited. Along with every other show that we do on our channel, every other movie as well will be available on our channel. Again, the minimum uh, price for our Patreon is $3 a month. That helps us out. Uh, we also have a merchandise store where we sell hats and shirts and all that good stuff. Again, you will find the link in the description below, guys. Listen, we appreciate you hanging out with us. We are R Knights. I'm Ray. I'm Gerard. And I'm Michael. Guys, we'll see you soon. Stay safe, everyone. Take care.